Hey everybody, Sam here and Angela and welcome to our channel. So today we want to have a very down and dirty, honest conversation about money. What everybody loves to talk about. As many of you know, who are regular followers of our channel, we are working and saving to move our mobile home from our property here in North Carolina to the new property we bought in Tennessee. So today's video is going to be about that. We're gonna give you kind of a status update. Where are we on the line of to-do list? It's like a mile long. And then we're gonna talk about money, which should be fun. But I think it's kind of necessary and you'll understand why. So first up, let's go ahead and give you guys the high level overview. What are the steps that's literally on our list as far as what we're doing between now and living in Tennessee full time? First thing we've got to do is build a workshop, which if you've watched our other videos, you know we are going to repurpose this greenhouse back here and make it into a temporary workshop. Yep, and by temporary, it will probably be longer than temporary, but it'll be the workshop that I use for my portion of stuff and tools and my, my portion of our small business woodworking until we can build what will be our dream shop, mm -hmm. which we're, we have big dreams so we'll save those dreams for later i guess next thing is is we're going to have some camper stuff that we need to do since this is going to be a move in the middle of winter it looks like it's going to be what are we going to do to winterize the camper not a whole lot we're going to add some kind of underpinning or skirting around the outside to basically stop the wind from blowing under the camper that should help a lot other than that i want to put our large propane tank out there mm -hmm. in the camper so it's a big hundred pound tank and that's probably all I've really got planned. Yeah. We also need to fix our solar power setup since we don't have power at our property yet. Mm -hmm. We are going to wait until we get the house moved and get the main power pole. Yep. Pretty much we have to wait until the house is there unless we want to pay for a temporary pole and then pay for the new permanent pole. It's just going to, it'll be a couple of grand if we do that. So we're trying yeah. to save in the meantime and we have the capabilities with the solar panels and stuff like that that we already have yep so there'll be some projects coming up as far as building a solar panel array or a rack to put them on and also introducing you guys to our off-grid power solutions how we're going to run the homestead off-grid we've uh, got some cool things in plan so we think you'll enjoy it whenever we get to share that with you guys next on our to-do list and this kind of goes hand in hand with money is sign the contracts with the people to move the house. We have to have 50% of the total cost to give them to sign the contract, and then the rest is due whenever the house gets moved and the grading gets done. I don't want to sign those contracts until we have all of the money to pay for everything in case something happens. So the time or point when we actually will sign the contract. We'll have all the money by that point. Yeah, yeah, Sam wants to play it safe. So we don't want to sign the contract, move the house, and not have the money to finish it so we can move back into our home. So as far as when that's gonna happen, all it takes is money. That's what this whole thing is about. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so we also have, I mean, you can see stuff all around. We have a lot of things to move. A lot of our gardening stuff, um, the things for our animals, and just, you know, mowers and, mm -hmm pots and all kinds of other stuff that we are going to try and take some over every time we go yep that's why we put the trailer so we can hook it up to the van and take it over and mm -hmm. so we, we have, have a lot of stuff to move we have a whole homestead to move we do plus your business my business our, our business together we have a mm -hmm. lot of stuff along with moving all of the stuff on our homestead it will include our animals which we have four chickens. They're already set up, ready to go. We've got them in a small little chicken tractor. And then we have our sheep. So we've got to figure out what we're going to do there. We're still thinking that we will use a portable fence structure for our sheep, probably a solar powered electric fence. We'd like to check that out. So it's not a whole lot to move with that. Again, it just takes money, I guess. <laughs> but that's our animal talk, at least. That's all the animals we have right now, so. So while everything else is going on, in the next couple of months, we are gonna be downsizing. As it is the easiest time when you're moving to be able to downsize and get rid of stuff. Mm -hmm. So hopefully it'll make it easier to move everything when there's not as much to move. 
and I think between the two of us, it's very safe to say Sam is going to have to downsize a whole lot more than Angela. I hang on to stuff. <laughs> My workshop is large right now, and it's I'm a catch -all. It's the new workshop is going to be very small. So, yep, tool sale. But it is what it is. Mm -hmm. So the moving company that's going to be moving our home is also the company that will be doing our house site preparation, all of the grading, make sure that it's to proper grade. They'll be doing our footers and all that stuff. That'll yeah. be it. Then they'll move the house. And then we do the septic tank. Well, we don't. Right, we don't. We, we're paying <laughs> for the septic. A lot of you guys have asked us, are you going to do your septic next? As in like real time next? No, because the tanks are going right beside the home and the whole house site has to be graded and cut and we just can't install the tanks without the grading being done. We don't really want to mess up anything that was just done, whether it be when they do grading and hit the septic tank or vice versa, that type thing. So we're just going to wait until the house is in place and then do the septic. So in the meantime, are we using an outhouse in the woods? No. Are we doing illegal dumping? No. We actually have a dump tank that we are bringing back to our property here in North Carolina and putting it in our septic tank. So I am now smiling nice because at this point that we're talking, our house will be moved, which will be awesome. Right. We'll be homeless living in a camper. Hey, at least our home will be where we are. True, true. So, at that point, once the house is moved, then we can put on the porches. We need to get the septic hooked up, the electric hooked up, the power run to us, I guess, first, then the electric hooked up. All the bits and bobbins <laughs> that I lumped under the phrase of CO work, your certificate of occupancy that you receive from the county saying, yep, you're good, you can live in your home, that's all going to be lumped together. That'll be stuff that we do as much as possible. I am 99% sure that with the state of Tennessee, since it is a home we are going to live in, we're allowed to hook up our plumbing, our drain system. We're allowed to obviously build our decks and everything as long as they're to code, finish out the underpinning, but we'll have to hire an electrician to connect the house. We also will have to hire a heating air company to re-hook up our mini splits. That's a good point. I forgot about that. We have mini splits here. We will have to get them disconnected properly move everything over and then pay to get them reconnected properly as well but it's okay is what it is mm -hmm. all right we're finally done talking about the to-do list and remember that is like seriously high level there's so much more and we stress out it <laughs> stress out about it so next thing big thing when do we realistically think we'll move the home when are we going to move to tennessee well we're hoping by spring which does put us probably in the middle of winter. I'm hoping by February, 2022. Well, in February. I want to be in Tennessee by February. So that's what I'm working with in my head. However, there's a little bit of limiting factor, which the is- The whole money thing. Yeah. We don't have a money tree, do we? No. You're... It's not buried out in the backyard either. <laughs> no. You're not loaded. I'm not loaded. So uh, yeah, now we get to talk about money. So that leads to the big question, what kind of dollar figure are we talking about? Let's actually be honest, be truthful, and it let's is. talk about some dollars. It's kind of painful. <laughs> mm -hmm. So it is going to be 16000 for moving and grading for our home. Mm -hmm. And then it is going to be 8000 for a septic. Pause. We are not able to get a traditional conventional septic due to the soil structure. We've already had our state engineers come out and do our septic permit so that's why that number's higher than usual if you're a septicologist continue so that is twenty four thousand dollars that we need to get together that figure is only for moving the house and installing the septic it doesn't include the porches and steps that we need to build or moving these or whatever it doesn't include underpinning the home hooking up our heating and ventilation system and hiring the electrician to connect everything either or finishing out the workshop since all we have with the greenhouse is the skeleton and we have to have siding and roofing and we will try and piece together what we can because you know we're like that we try to upcycle and yeah. recycle and whatever we can but that's the reason that we went with getting a camper so we can go to the property and we can do stuff like the workshop and things do as much as we can now 
while we're saving for the big ticket items that we mm -hmm. can't do ourselves. Right. So we have to have all that money, but how much do we have saved right now? Here we go. More money talk. <laughs> we have about a third of it saved. We were able to sell... Okay, as of this whole project of getting the property, I sold my Ford Ranger, sold our Honda Element, and I sold the dump truck. Well, I guess we sold. It's not all me. <laughs> so we sold three vehicles to get not only, you know, down payment, not to buy the land or to be privileged to be indebted to the land, <laughs> but we also were able to put a big chunk or all of the dump truck sale directly into our savings account waiting for septic, but it's also a septic and house move as well. Yeah. In addition to that, a handful of you extremely, extremely generous people have helped to increase that piggy bank a little bit as well. So we are at about a third of the way right now. So what kind of income streams do we have? We have several income streams because your husband probably has ADD, so he's got multiple things going on. Um, as far as income streams that I'll say could fund the piggy bank fund the house move mm -hmm. because i still work at part-time and everything but that's really living expenses mm -hmm. we have um this youtube channel does bring revenue from youtube my woodworking channel does a little bit as well then we have our small business so anytime you guys buy soap or buy woodworking items from us that right now we are lucky and blessed to be able to put it into our savings account as well just trying to focus every penny we've got to our goal so there is all of our normal, uh, I guess, normal income streams, the things we do, the things we've lived on and whatever. We have some new things that we're going to start trying, and I'll let you introduce that. <laughs> <laughs> so one thing with us being a larger channel, well, I consider us large. Er. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm tickled. I'm... <laughs> we are very tickled. Um, is that we get all these emails from other companies asking us to do videos on their products. And with this, a lot of times we get a product, but they will also pay us for the video. While we normally don't like to do these things, we are wanting a way to raise the funds we need mm -hmm. without asking for handouts because we don't like to do that. Right. So this is a way that we can work for the money mm -hmm. and get some cool stuff in return. Yep. Now, don't worry. You're not going to see us trying to peddle, I don't know, a Harry's shaving kit to you because obviously ain't no shaving happening here I or think some kind of nail polish is one that i think uh -huh. he said he, you got or ten dollar cereal boxes or some kind of organic stuff i mean come on so what we choose to do and it will definitely be a choice because most of it like we said is junk but it will try we'll try our best to make it relevant <laughs> we're not gonna do a song and dance for something silly because we just can't do that so you may see some behind the scenes, just everyday stuff for us, um, having fun and... Not a project video. That's I think that's what you're trying to say. I guess it is. We're going to have some videos come out where it's not 100% project, working, land stuff. We can't do that all the time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can't do that all the time. I have to have a little <laughs> bit of a break. Right, right. Some R&R. F-R-N-R. F-R-N-R. R Food, rest, and relaxation. <laughs> so there, we, uh, we've we talked about money and we've kind of given you guys a heads up about we're going to do some sponsored content. Uh, I don't know. I feel kind of icky talking about it now, but I would rather have had this opportunity to explain to people why we are going to do this, why we are doing this, and also let you know that it's, I mean, it's going to be temporary mm -hmm. unless we get some awesome sponsors like Craftsman. I'll, I'll, I'll show craftsman tools all the time. Or we something already cool. kind of do. <laughs> right. We have almost their whole lineup. <laughs> yep. So we just wanted to make this video, I guess, to give ourselves a clear conscience and to explain so we don't just cold drop some stuff and you're kind of like, Where'd that come from? Yeah. I thought you were working on your Tennessee property. Why are you XYZ? So, plus, it'll be a place to point any people who are extra critical. I can point them to this video and they can choose whether or not they want to watch it, but we did our part. Well, and we have had a lot of questions about, well, when are you planning on moving? Mm -hmm. And, you know, when is this part going to get done? And are you going to do a septic now? And so this is hopefully answering some of those questions mm -hmm. and give you a better idea of where we're heading. Yeah. I think it's a good thing to do because we're very honest people. 
we don't we don't have a fake channel this isn't a stage where we just make videos at a place and uh this is it i mean you are getting what you see as we are what we is mm -hmm. yep there you go and you homeschool our children honey i do the math <laughs> that's why i do math i have a mathematical mind i'm good on that part <laughs> Okay, I think I've rambled more than enough. Hopefully we were able to inform you guys. You got some updates, answered your questions. But if not, leave us a question or comment below. We will love to read them. We'll try and get to as many as we can. <laughs> Thank you for coming along with our awkward money talk. Yep. Sorry. Thanks. <laughs> and we'll All see that. you guys next time on one of the homesteads. See ya. Bye. See ya. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Seriously? Sorry. Now I'm going to have a complex. See ya. I found a cool little, like, cadence of an outro. Well, and it, it go, was just... See ya. <laughs> it was different than your normal see ya. See ya. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> That's it. I'm going to fill the blooper reel with all of your mess ups today. I, I won't have a no, single my, one in a blooper my, reel. My mess ups are, what was I saying? <laughs> I, I don't remember where I was going with that. I do the same thing. I'm like, that. Ah, but. Where did it go? What was that? <laughs>